Um, I was asked, I think we were both asked in our questions uh, to prepare, uh, what is your vision for a, moral, uh, for a moral framework for a pluralistic society? Include a description of your worldview, faith background, and why this is relevant for you. So, okay, so I thought, actually, I think this will work quite well. Um, and so the, 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 the point for me to say is that I'm Jewish, and this is relevant to the discussion in two ways. Uh, one is that um, I was raised in a Reform Jewish family in Scarsdale in Westchester County. Um, very little actual religion, just a lot of food and, and uh, you know, bar mitzvahs and things like that. I had a bar mitzvah. Um, but I know that within two years of my bar mitzvah, I was debating with my best friend, who was the son of an Episcopalian minister. I was debating with him the existence of God, and I was taking the, the con side. Uh, so I was an atheist by the time I was 15 or 16. By the time I was in college, I was a rather hostile atheist. I thought religion was, uh, was a giant uh, lie. I thought it was oppressive. Uh, I was on the side of truth. So I was, had the new atheists been around then, I would have been one. So I was fairly hostile to religion uh, from the time I was uh, in, in college. And it was in part from reading the Bible, in part from reading the Old Testament and taking it literally. I guess now we know I should have taken it seriously, but not literally. Um, but anyway, I took it literally and I did not want it. So I was very hostile to religion for a long time, but I started studying morality in graduate school. And once I started studying morality and culture, looking across cultures, I then started studying religion and the origin, the way that morality and religion have co-evolved in, in the human past, I started realizing that actually moral, uh, religion, I believe, is an absolutely essential part of our evolutionary history. We would not have civilization, we would not have morality if we did not evolve to be religious both biologically and culturally. Furthermore, I started reading the empirical research on the effects of religion. And at least in the United States, those effects are overwhelmingly positive. Um, there's an there's a important book called American Grace by uh, Robert Putnam and somebody Campbell. Um, and they basically come to the conclusion from survey data and other kinds of data that members of religious communities are simply better citizens. They give more not just to the religious communities but to their society uh, in a variety of ways, in all sorts of ways that even secular people would grant uh, religions. It's not belief. Its participation in a religious community has effects that, that rein in people's selfishness and draws them out into community. I'd like to believe that I simply was persuaded by the evidence. I have no idea why I was persuaded, but uh, I'm actually, I would almost say, a fan of religion now. I think that religion in America in particular, where we've had relatively benign religions that have sort of competed to attract adherence, so we have a sort of a competition of, of religions because of our pluralism here that's made American religions really effective and appealing. Um, so I am a, a fan of religion, and I believe that um, as religion has faded away, as a common religion that Tim was talking about, the Protestant consensus, as that has faded away, I think that's an important part of the problems and predicament we find ourselves in now, much closer to a state of anomie or normlessness, as Emil Durkheim called it.